15% corporation tax, a portfolio of concessions and exemptions on import duties and value-added tax, property tax, and stamp duty are part of the fiscal incentives that Trinidad and Tobago will offer businesses as part of the country's special economic zone regime. Minister of Trade and Industry Paula Gopi Schoon said this new regime has been under development for a long time, but now is finally fully in place. However, the success and impact is not a fait accompli um, with just mere policy formulation and the passage of legislation. For SEZ to be successful, it is critical that the process be driven by constant collaboration among all stakeholders just as we are doing today because we've passed the policy, passed the legislation, um, but again it requires continued uh, collaboration until you get it right. The minister explained that the SEZ incentives will cover SEZ operators, enterprises and single zone enterprises. She also noted that not every business in Trinidad and Tobago will be eligible to participate in the SEZ regime since it is meant to encourage new investment activity in the production of new goods and services. Our intention is that the incentive framework be consistent with international best practice and enhance the attractiveness of the business climate in Trinidad and Tobago whilst also protecting our domestic revenue base to the greatest extent possible. So we have to find that sweet spot and balance. Minister Gopi Schoon said spaces designated as special economic zones have been identified by Cabinet and are expected to be announced in the upcoming budget presentation on Monday, September 30th. The United Nations Trade and Development estimates there are over 7,000 SEZs in 145 economies, employing over 100 million people. The minister was speaking at the private sector opportunities in the Special Economic Zone event, hosted by Ernst & Young and the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.